Mini Projects with Dayton. I'm Dayton, and today we're going to talk about building our own home security system from scratch. This ought to be good. So dudes, let's get real. There's a lot of weirdos out in the world. Frankly, people a lot like me. So you need to protect yourself right. So today I'm going to show you how to make a totally impenetrable security system. Look out! So my worry is that people might catch me doing something embarrassing, like making a YouTube video. So what I want to do is fortify that door over there. So if anybody walks in, I'll know about it. As per my needs, I think an alarm system would be sufficient. <sighs> Maybe I'm thinking too big. The ideal thing to use is the most powerful speaker that I have. And that's this. It just so happens that this little guy is one of the most diabolical speakers on the planet. It happens to be a 102 decibel piezo siren. This little siren requires about 12 volts DC in order to work. This is the kind of speaker that you would find in a fire alarm, and it's just as loud. 102 decibels. That's how loud this thing is. In case you're unfamiliar with the decibel system, a step of every 10 decibels represents 10 times the power. So if you're listening to me at a normal volume, that's about 60 decibels. And this is 40 decibels more than that, which means it's 10, 100, 1000, 10,000 times louder than a normal conversation that you carry on. So I think this will do nicely. Now it's time to execute my master plan. Written in crayon, of course, because crayons are preferred by teachers. So, here's the gist of my plan. Using a... This is a worthless crayon. Using a 12 volt power supply, I will power the piezo siren, but I will have two switches in its path. One switch is one that I purchased over the internet with a key lock so I can remain in charge of all of the security around here. The other is a switch specially designed to be tripped every time somebody opens the door. So everybody's probably familiar with a household clothespin. This is what I'm going to use as my switch on the door. So what I'm thinking is having metal contacts right here on the edge of the clip connected to wires and having the clip pinched down on, uh, let's use a different color, pinched down on a sheet of paper, which is taped down to the door. So when you pull out the sheet of paper, this snaps shut and makes electrical contact. I already went ahead and made this switch with copper contacts and leads that I can solder into each end. And this will go in series with my main switch to turn the system on and off. It'll clamp down a sheet of paper like such, not making any electrical contact, and then when somebody pulls out the sheet of paper, contact's being made. So if the alarm system is active and somebody pulls out the sheet of paper tripping this switch, current will be allowed to flow through the circuit and through the piezo siren, making a loud noise. And this will alert me. That, that's me over there being alerted by this intruder. Dude, let's go mount all this by the door. So I have this power supply set to 12 volts, and if we go over here, up, 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 it runs through that switch that I have taped to the door, which is shorted right now just for testing purposes, and it goes up, 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 up to the switch, which runs through the piezo siren, and up, 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 back to the power supply. Now I can do one of two things to turn on the siren right now since it's shorted. I can arm it, <laughs> that's written in crayon of course. Or I can press this test button. Alright, let's get a piece of paper on there and see if this thing works. Trial style. Now let's give this thing a test and see what happens when I pull up on the door. Now the only way to test it and make sure that it works from an outside source is if I try and break in. <laughs> oh, whoops. <clears throat> <laughs>
So, I'll just go ahead and arm the system and teleport outside. Well, my ears are hurting, so I think it worked. You know, maybe it's more than just a security system. It might also be a criminal deterrent. Okay, dudes, now it's time to arm the system and wait for our next victim. Dudes, it's been like three hours and nobody showed up. I don't think anybody's gonna show up for the rest of the night. I've just been biding my time drawing. Pretty, isn't it? Well, at that I think I'll conclude this video. Since uh, I don't think I'm gonna catch anybody tonight and I wanna start editing this. So, I bid thee all adieu. Have a good one. I'll see you next time. What? What else do you want from me? Uh, Auf Wiedersehen. Tschüss. Au revoir. Goodbye.